welcome back. So my first time that I got to SHOT Show, I came across a Burley Stock booth and I had known about a Burley Stock for about 10 years. Uh, I have one of their Phantom Generation 2 packs. Another friend has one and he's, he's used it overseas. He used it on multiple tours before he was injured and uh, he still owns that pack. And so I've known that a Burley Stock is super, super high quality. They're very, very innovative in their designs and stuff. And I waited very, very patiently to, uh, to start with the Burley Stock because I wanted to make sure that I could offer the full lineup. And we're now offering the full lineup through rangetech.ca. You can order anything from a Burley Stock's website and we'll have it shipped to you. Uh, so what we have now is a, is a system that actually just came out two weeks ago. This is the M1 Carrier. And this is a frame system designed for your tactician slash hunter. And it's a very versatile system. We will also have in a couple of weeks the uh, roll top dry bag uh, sheath for carrying your, your rifle. And that will attach in here too. The beauty of this system with the the carrier here is that you've got all sorts of options of how you can set this up. We have a little big top pack here. We're going to attach it to this. We're going to take this system out for a hike today and, and try try carrying you know a bunch of stuff. We're actually going to go out with our overnight equipment. We have uh, uh, about a sub four pound camping equipment set up. We've got a uh, Thermarest, that's a few years old. We've got a nice lightweight sleeping bag and we've got a uh, bivy bag from Outdoor Research, but that's not really why we're here to talk or what we're here to talk about. As you can see, the system has just a multitude of attachment points. This is uh, a fabric with some kind of uh, like lining to it. It's you know, it's not just a straight, normal fabric. It is an extremely tough material, and I believe that's going to hold up really well. As you can see, you have this, this open system here. What that's actually meant for is carrying cargo, such as, uh, you know, quartered game, uh, quartered elk, quartered moose, something like that. It's meant so you can get it in there, cinch it up. These things extend. And they extend quite a way. See, so actually, it wasn't even done. So there you go. You can extend this thing out to about here, and so you could carry a, a rather large piece of equipment or, or uh, meat, you know, whatever you happen to be doing. Today, I'm actually going to use it to carry my custom rifle from Jim Weiss, and uh, we're going to go up the, we're going to hike a ways up the hill. We've got a target set up, and we're going to we're going to test that out. What we're going to use to attach our our uh, little big top pack is these adapter buckles and what they do is they actually slip into these hooks right here. They're kind of a pain to get in but once they're in you don't have to take them out. You don't have to use these if you don't want to. You can use just the zipper system but I like the idea of having the uh, the two systems like you've got the compression system and you've got the zipper holding the pack on. Uh, you know you're only as strong as your weakest link and you know say if you did have a zipper fail which I really don't think you're gonna have on this pack uh, you still have that backup. I did notice too like when this is in here it's a fairly tight fit there's there's not a lot of noise or anything like that I was kinda curious about that so Yeah, and what you're hearing is this moving around. So it's it's a quiet system. So very impressed with this. I, I like I say I waited very very patiently for this. This came this concept uh, is known from a Burley stock for you know their I think it's called their F1 system and it's got a frame curves out on the back so you've got a shelf system like this though you can carry a rifle with it so it does double duty if you happen to be somebody who's going overseas that's going to be more along the lines of what you're going to want over the over the older system what we're going to use for the pack itself like i said is the little big top system this is absolutely brand spanking new picked it up yesterday 
like this system a lot. I like the tacks that open on the front. You've got a bunch of dividers inside, dividing pockets. You can never ever be too organized. You've got one on here too. Very, very tough material and a really nice thick coating on the back. I'm sure this is gonna last a really long time. Uh, your stitching is all backed up. And uh, you've got seam tape over everything to keep that even more um, backed up. So as you can see, very, very easy, quick access to get into these packs. Looks like you've got a hydration system carrier here. And uh, I'll be throwing a, a hydro, hydro pack in here as well too. I've got several three liters from a Burley stock, so I'll probably throw one of those in there. And then you can just have that upright in the pack. Uh, you have, let's see here, you've got um, just loads and loads of features on this pack. I know it looks really, really slick, but you've got all sorts of attachment points where you can throw things on this thing. You've got your minimized molly on the outside, and uh, that cuts down a lot of weight on little things like that. You've got your extender to, extenders as well too. You've got your carry handle on the side, and you have a, uh, a water bottle carrier or whatever you want to throw in the side pocket. I'm probably going to use that for a Nalgene or something. Once I get a new one, destroyed my latest one. And then you have a, another carry strap on the top. And what I mean by roll top is it's like a dry bag. So this this rolls over just like your river rafting dry bag would. And so you have the possibility of extending that, or say if you did want to carry an extremely large load of um, whatever, your camping gear, or your meat out of camp or whatever, uh, or stuff, extra gear in there, you have the option of extending that way the heck up. Um, and I think you're gonna, you're, you're probably gonna add about 50% cargo room to the pack by doing that. Just looking at the top, you know, eyeballing that. Your hydration can come out, or come out either side. You have more attachment points at, that, at the sides as well too. I think these would be very, very handy for things like my extendable legs for my bipod. So now I have easy access to that. That's big enough too, if I wanted to, I could throw a tripod in here as well, so I'll probably do that. And um, then you have the harness itself. Now the harness itself is adjustable. This system comes undone, you dis detach it from these slots here and then you can adjust how, how high it is from the waist belt to the uh, shoulder straps. The, Shoulder straps themselves, very, very impressive. Like you could not get more ventilation in these things if you wanted to. It is, um, it is a foam system with a sort of a bristly wrapped up plastic in there that is springy. So you're gonna be able to let, you know, moisture and perspiration heat escape. So if you're using this in a hot environment, you're gonna stay cool. And if you're using this in a cold environment, you're gonna stay dry. So all the, way, all the way around, that's a win-win situation with this pack. If you haven't already noticed, there's these D-rings on the top here. These are meant for attaching a Burley Stocks binocular system so that you have your optics ready to go when you need them. Uh, for example, you know, the other day, driving up in, into this uh, property that we use now, you know, we came across a moose. Um, say if I had, you know, hypothetically been hunting, uh, you know, and I've been walking, you know, through the property, I would have had that right at my, you know, beck and call ready to go. Tons and tons of airspace as well between the, the back padding and, uh, and the actual frame of the pack. For those of you that have spent a lot of time wearing backpacks, you'll know the benefits of that. You don't take off your backpack and end up with like a massive sweaty cold back if it's cold. And um, you're gonna reduce the amount of hydration that you require because you're not gonna be sweating as much because you're not gonna be getting as hot wearing a pack like this. The 
waist belt and the and the shoulder straps actually come off the pack so that you can attach it to the M1 carrier system. So rather than taking that apart right this all apart right now, we're going to do our initial um, carry with this, I think just with the pack in its entirety and then we'll switch it over and see how it rides with this too. The some of you might actually be looking at a system like this and going like, why would I bother spending the money on it? The reason you bother spending the money on a system like this, rather than just going to a pack like this, is it gives you the option of, of having that length of um, whatever you're carrying. If you're carrying a moose quarter or something like that, you know what I'm talking about, you want that, you want that length. Again, if you're a tactician, uh, you're going overseas or something, you're carrying a rifle, uh, if you're going into a wet environment and you know you need the dry bag, you have that option of using this system too. With this, you've got a uh, concealed way of carrying your, your rifle and, and you're good to go and your rifle's not getting doused in salt water or rain or whatever, you know, or just you know having leaves and crap like that fall into it. So let's put everything into the pack and let's, let's take this thing up the, the hill and go for a hike and uh, get a little exercise and uh, I'll tell you what I think about it at the top and I'm going to switch over to the GoPro now and I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. Alright, already at the top of this hill it was, uh, it was an absolute joy to carry the pack. We stopped a couple of times to do some filming. We've got it, like I said, set up on the M1 system here, and it is awesome. Whoa, scared the crap out of me. I didn't realize I was grabbing something alive there. And uh, yeah, it is so easy to access. And that's it, you're into the system. Uh, really, really slick, really, really comfortable. It was a pretty good climb up the hill here. Got a target set up at about 850 meters, so I'm gonna see how we're doing uh, with this new rifle. So she is really, really sweet. ESS chassis, Krieger barrel. Custom Terminator brake that's machined down to fit the barrel. And uh, we've got our trigger tech trigger in there and a nice buttery smooth action. We're running in uh, Minox scope and uh, like I said, we're running the Warren scope mount adjustable ring set here. Get this thing up and out of the dirt and you've got the adjustments on the side there. So let's do some shooting and then let's, uh, let's go for another hike with the pack because this thing is so comfortable. It carried beautifully. It's super light, super stable, and uh, like I said, I've got about 30 pounds in here. Uh, I've got some camera gear, a drone, camping gear, some clothes, and uh, a bunch of ammo. And I uh, just shot a bunch of it and tested out this new gun that I had built. Uh, and I tested out the worn scope uh, rings that are adjustable, and yeah, they did really well. This gun's now zeroed at 708 meters. Back to the pack. Super, super handy, because I kept having to stop and get new batteries out, because I was just running on half batteries on the drone. I hadn't uh, recharged it in a while. My point in bringing that up, though, is that getting into this pack is just so easy. It is so easy, and it doesn't come undone. I love these big old pull straps. And the zippers are super, super smooth. They, um, they're massive zippers. Uh, like, they're, I mean, look at them. They're, they're enormous. I don't even know what size that is. Uh, but yeah, those, those are fantastic. The pack carries great. Um, it's effortless and it's dead quiet. Just absolutely quiet. I did some shooting off of an improvised position, AKA a tree. Wearing this and just like totally stable, I was, I was killing the target at uh, 700 meters uh, from, from that. 
and uh, no problem. Just just worked really really well. Great job, guys. I uh, really like this frame. I can't wait till I can put the the um, scabbard in there as well and uh, start trying out some of the other options with it. And I'm really looking forward to trying this pack on its own as well too, because I mean, obviously it's not necessary necessary to always have the M1 frame, but this, this frame is great. Um, I'm not sure how far I just hiked, but uh, I went a little further than I needed to. I went up the hill and around and uh, came back and I'm pretty much dry. Little tiny bit of dampness, but that's mainly because I'm just really out of shape. So, yeah, a burly stock. Uh, good work, guys. If you don't know the story of a burly stock, make sure you watch their video on the burly stock story. It's it's really fascinating, and they're they're really good at lo about looking after our vets and stuff. And uh, if you're a vet and you want to check out our company, RangeTech.ca, we do have discounts for you guys. And um, in the future, when we expand, we're eventually going to hire a vet as well, and hopefully more than one. Uh, that's our hope. Um, so we're asking that you guys support us, guys, because we come out, it costs us money to put these videos together. And, um, you know, we really want to, we want to share what's really great out there that you guys can get at a, at a decent price. And this is a solid, solid pack. It's, you know, there's just so much technology in this thing, so much thought. Uh, it's, it's really incredible. And I am like a horror for packs in gear. I like love good gear. I don't like spending a ton of money unnecessarily, but I love good gear. I see the total, the value in it, and uh, there's there's just nothing um, better than having a good trip or whatever and not having issues with stuff. And there's nothing worse than going out and having shit break. So, uh, you know, get spend the money. You'll love it. It'll last for years. My first Aberly stock pack is still going solid at 10 years. And uh, I love that pack as well. I really like this color. This is military green, and uh, it was nice to change away from uh, coyote brown because I own a lot of coyote brown stuff right now. But this is um, this is beautiful. The fabric is gorgeous. Uh, just can't say enough good stuff about it.